Hi and welcome to this guide, how to use my GPS. I'm going to explain you uh, how to put the right settings for a nice flight on autopilot to any um, airport you wish. So this is a Boeing 737-800 uh, from Guinness. Well, I do not like the beer, but I like the textures. So, to start off, um, pop up your uh, GPS system, which could be done by uh, Shift 3, or go to your uh, main panel, go to views, then uh, main panel and should say GPS. So click on it, but I already have it, so never mind. Okay, it should come up with this, and you can see uh, the white plane, which is you, and uh, a whole lot of other things you can see on the screen. So you don't uh, care for the moment. Uh, I'm just going to explain how to put uh, the right uh, waypoints in your GPS. So to start off, go to the f arrow button, uh, which is the right upper corner. Click on it, and it should come up with this. And then uh, at the right down corner, uh, you should see uh, two tuner buttons: a larger one and a smaller one. Now uh, click on the smaller one, and it should go and scroll down the different airports. Well, since there are about uh, 25,000 airports, it's not going to work to find one particular airport. So, uh, I click on again, and now it should uh, come up with this, and now I can put in the initials of the airport I want to. Well, this is just an example, I want to go to Amsterdam, which inis initials are Echo Hotel Alpha Mike, so A-H-A-M. So it now should say skip all Amsterdam. So push the enter button. Okay, now it's flashing again, it's glowing. Push enter again. And now it it says if it's uh, if I want it if I want to activate it. So uh, yes, I click enter again, so enter for three times. And now it should come up with the red line. Uh, you can see it over here. That's the way you have to fly to. Okay, that's uh, very simple. So uh, make sure that in your cockpit it looks um, like this. Go to your autopilot block and um, make sure the nav GPS button is on GPS. So that will Can make I you sure you got on the uh, so you, you follow the right uh, waypoints. So put it on GPS and it should, uh, in your radar screen should come up should. Uh, you should see the red line uh, you've just seen on the GPS. So uh, take off and uh, do whatever you need to uh, to get on the right button. So I'm just going to take off. Okay, so I'm now flying at uh, 070 heading uh, at a speed of 260 knots on an altitude of 2000 feet. What I'm going to do is to um, get on the right road, right waypoint uh, to make my uh, way to Amsterdam, which I just put in a GPS. So put your nav GPS button on GPS so it should come up with uh, five little uh, white bulbs and a uh, red stripe um, now make sure you turn off the heading so yeah, autopilot heading you turn it off okay you turn it off and now go to for lock and you should see the airplane should turn itself into the right uh, position to Amsterdam As you can see, it's turning, and I'm doing nothing at all. And it should uh, line up uh, with the right way to Amsterdam itself. Okay, when you're approaching the ideal line to Amsterdam, you can see on your radar screen that the red bar is coming near the middle. Uh, as it comes, as, if, as, um, when it's right in the middle, that means that you're exactly on the right course. So you can see the the red cross uh, over here, uh, which should be followed by the autopilot airplane and the airplane. So on your GPS, you can see the same. Um, there's that red line over here, and your white plane, who's going to come in cross it in a few moments. So when it's exactly lined up, um, you can see the red cross sta over here, standing in the middle and uh, the red line shouldn't be visible anymore since it's covered up by the white 
line over here. Okay, now next thing, um, the approach on the GPS. I'm going to explain you how to make a nice approach uh, via your GPS system. Um, so when you're about uh, 25 nautical miles from the airport, uh, you should make um, the approach, or anyway, you should have uh, contact the tower, and you should say you uh, on what runway you have to land. Well, I have no idea. So uh, I'm going to uh, make this time a uh, landing on a 1-8 right uh, landing uh, 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 airstrip. So I'm going again. Uh, I'm saying you must have um, put in the initials uh, from the airport you're flying to. So if not, it shouldn't work. So go to the proc button, uh, which is in the right down corner. To click on it, it should come up with this. Uh, now, uh, you can use the bigger tuner button or uh, to make it uh, scroll down, but in this case you don't have any choice, so click enter and select approach. Uh, now you should uh, choose your runway you want to land on, so I just said 1.8 right, go to ILS 1.8 right, and click enter. Now it asks ask me the uh, waypoints I want to uh, I want to use to make a landing. Well, I'm going via Nursey. I don't know what it is, but I'm just checking out. I click uh, Enter. It asks me to load or to activate. Well, I'm going to load for the moment, so Enter again. It should come up with this. Enter again. And click it away. Uh, click on Proc again, and now it should say Activate Approach. If you don't want to, just use the tune buttons to scroll down. But I want to activate it, so Enter. And there it goes, my plane turns into the right directions to make the first, uh, to make itself to the first waypoint. As you can see, there is that little white uh, circle over here, uh, which is the way to follow uh, to the runway. Okay, once it has intercepted the first waypoint, which is about uh, within now and 3 nautical miles, you can see there on the radar screen it should turn itself. So, um, do what you need to do for the landing. Go to the right speed, whatever, flaps, uh, landing gear, adjust uh, thrust, everything. But do not, certainly do not turn on the, turn off the GPS. So, I, do, I didn't intercept the first waypoint yet, so it should, now I did. So you see, uh, it changed color, it became red, and the red one became white. So it's turning now uh, on its own uh, to make its way to the next waypoint. Okay, once you've finished up with this, uh, adjust flaps, adjust uh, gear, adjust do whatever you need to adjust. And uh, you should see on your radar screen a curved uh, red line, uh, which is the ideal approach for the right now it intercepted the last uh, waypoint to make itself to the right runway. So I normally I haven't got to do anything, just just the flaps, uh, thrust and whatever you need to land. So it's lining up itself. As you can see, uh, the last waypoint has become red. That uh, makes sure uh, you've just intercepted the last waypoint. So as you can see I'm lined up with the runway and I should be able to turn off the speed. So that's what I'm going to do. Turn off speed. Okay and now I could eventually turn off the VOR localizer to make a visual landing. So I turn it off, turn off the autopilot and land this bird.